Meet artist Chrissy Nickerson Keach, who paints amazing marine scenes using her Whitehall Spirit Solo 14 in beautiful Penobscot Bay in Maine. Then come for a morning row with me, Harold on, in a Whitehall Spirit Tango 17. This is the story of Whitehall rowing and sail. I'm Harold on. Marie Hutchison and I started building Whitehall Spirit rowboats over 30 years ago. These classics are handmade in teak, bronze, and fiberglass and built to last a hundred years. We also build rowing boats in maintenance-free space-age thermoplast and the oarboard rower that converts a paddleboard into a high-performance rowboat that stores in the apartment and travels as luggage. Join us in the shop, the office, on the road, and on the water as we revolutionize the sport of rowing. If you like our content, please like and subscribe. Your comments are welcome. Hi, my name is Chrissy Nickerson. I've been on the water most of my life, whether it be in my parents' boats or on canoe trips. But as a rower, I've been participating in this sport since I was in grade nine, so around the early 90s, let's say. Here I am in the beautiful Penobscot Bay along the Egamuggan Reach, where I've had my Whitehall um, Spirit, this boat. Uh, I've named Bow into it for the last five years. The boat's big enough that I can bring all my painting supplies, my dog and my kids, if I really want to. Although the boys are big enough now to kayak across the bay themselves.
Happy birthday to me. Looks like the fog has finally lifted. What a glorious morning. The fog, it's coming in. Let's race it back. Hi, Josie. Four years old, holding strong. What are you doing recording me? I hope you enjoy this little video I've made to celebrate my summer in Maine, my boat, and of course the work I complete while I'm here for Gallery B. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Harold Ahn, and it's an absolutely gorgeous morning this morning, and I'm about to head out for a row. First thing we're going to do is take the cover off. I keep the boat here on the dock on uh, what we call a dock bunk. By the way, I do have a Coast Guard approved inflatable belt type PFD on board. This is an important feature. This is a tie down strap. We keep that on the dock because it occasionally we get some pretty major winds blowing through here. And uh, that stops the boat from blowing away. Remove the cable lock on the bow. The bow line goes through this little recessed eye on the bow. And these eyes are really strong. You can actually lift the boat off that bow eye. The boat just slides off the slippery dock bunk and dock edge slider and into the water. When you're climbing aboard, place one foot in the middle of the boat, 
don't put any weight on it, just like Tai Chi or one of those martial arts, then transfer your weight over onto it and the boat will stay nice and stable. And fast as possible, sit down, get your weight, your center of effort low. And we'll untie, give the boat a shove and we're off. So here we are on the water with the sun just coming up over the hill. Now this is a Tango 17. As you can see it's rigged as a double. There's another sliding seat up forward. But I love the Tango 17 because I can row by myself like I am now or I can take a friend along. Yep, summer on the west coast. Nice calm mornings. Sometimes it stays like this all day. Sometimes a wind comes up in the afternoon. By that time it's kind of welcome because it's cooled everything down a bit. We're only about 50 miles from the open Pacific here actually. Wanda Puka Strait is just over there about hmm, 15 miles. And 40 miles or so beyond that is the open Pacific. <music> 360 camera, amazing thing. I'll just put it here in the holder. When you're rowing into a dock to make a landing, you don't row straight in. Actually, I'm cutting over across here so I can approach the dock at an angle. Now I can use the outboard oar to swing the boat the other way, while I bring the inboard oar on board. There we are, smooth as can be, a perfect landing. Just throw a line on the cleat. And we are back and secure. Once you're secure, take your feet out of the footstops and I usually put both hands on the gunnel of the boat to give myself an assist till I'm standing upright. You stick your one foot on the dock and then you transfer your weight over onto it. Putting the boat back on the dock is easy with a dock edge slider. Take a firm grip on the bow line and then drag it right up on the dock. Be sure to keep the boat moving until it's past its balance point. We just take off the bow line, throw that in the boat, we'll put the battens back in. These battens work great for keeping the cover stretched out and keeping rainwater out of the boat. 
There's lots of seagulls around here and these covers really help to keep the boats clean on the inside. The boat covers do get a bit soiled, but they can be hosed down and scrubbed off pretty easily. Now I'm putting the hold down strap back on and strapping the boat right to the dock. Now that the battens are in place and the boat strapped down, it's time to put the cover back on. I just hook it over the bow and then roll it back out over the battens. Finally, it's just a matter of hooking up the bungees to the cover, stretching it all out nice and tight so it's waterproof and somewhat seagull resistant. So there you have it. One morning row, and for me, one photography session at the same time. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I just uh, say this is pretty simple, and especially if you're lucky enough to have a dock like this, it makes things really easy. Have a great day, see you soon. For more information on the Whitehall Spirit Tango 17, visit our website at whitehallrow.com. Next episode, we travel by Sprinter Van, Water Taxi, Oarboard, and Whitehall Spirit Robo. Ten of us spend four days exploring the Broken Islands on the west coast of Canada. We base our expedition at the totally off-grid Broken Islands Lodge. We row out and explore pristine beaches, sea caves, shell middens, and scenic islands, and much more. basically have such a good time we can hardly bear it. So please hit that like button and subscribe so you won't miss the next episode of A World of Adventure Awaits You.